So when people hear pressure pass, and they often think, oh yeah, that stuff works with a gi, but, I mean, you have a ton of no-gi experience. You've co you know, Marcelo Garcia, your black belt, Damian Maya, your black belt. You see things like the folding pass in MMA all the time, especially going directly to mount. So when you're using the folding pass in no-gi, do you make any changes? What are the things you have to watch out for? And, and I think, I think the, the fold pass is probably one of the most effective uh, ways to pass in the no-gi game. Uh, and of course, there is a different setups, but the position is exactly the same, right? Uh, as you could see in the, on the gi techniques, we didn't use much grips, no. right? So it's about your weight distribution and how you control the legs to don't let the guy come back, you know, and square the hips to, to, to do guard anymore. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the setups change, but the rest is the same. So that's a, a, a one uh, one thing that I like to do a lot with the, with the with the no gi, for example. The guy sit up, so the guy start playing like this in, in, in the in the butterfly guard, and you just hit the, the, the side of the leg uh, to get the fold. So you're gonna do this, and as you switch the hand on on the bottom of the leg and the other hand goes around the waist. So from this point it's just about driving my weight forward. We are back in the same position. Right. Same situation. I can go here with the leg in the middle to go to the mount. I can step here. I can go back to the side. I gotta do all the same techniques uh, without changing a bit. You know, it's just a different setup. You know. Well, let's go through that setup because that was really cool. So it felt like a boom, boom, boom. It felt like yeah. a three hit. Like if we were doing, you the just, you just hit the side. Some, because of what, what, what the guy on the bar wants, he wants to engage, right? Get down the hook. So we are here, you know. And then as I do this, see, you already start to be out of balance. Right. So my point is, I'm gonna take the the when I have my forearm, I'm gonna pull my weight. This this hand goes around the waist. And the other hand control the back of the knee. Isn't everyone going to start pushing the head at this point? You, you, you can put my head because the problem point is just go. Your legs are already killed. Hmm. So it's the hand around the waist. Uh, just get, get me connected, right? Yeah. So you cannot really push me away. You can try to drive my head and just keep climbing. Right. So you can only you can do that because you have my hip. Yeah, Otherwise, without, I'd be able without to... Without your hip, you can scoop the hip out and, right. and, and reset the guard. But it's like, boom, you're there, you know? Can you just do that at full speed, just the setup? We're here, we're here, we're here. All right. This is a pretty strong one. Yeah. Because uh, the guy, of course, is not expecting you to get the hip, you know? And boom, you're there. Right. You know? And, uh, Karate works. <laughs> <laughs> the automatic style, but once you, you, you get there, then positions that to be really tight, you know. Awesome. That's one of the best, the, the same thing with the, 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 the butterfly sweep, when you land, is the same thing, you know, you're gonna land the same place. So, full Why don't you show that to the people from this angle, maybe they can see how you go to the folding pass again. So this time I get the underhook. Okay, so when you go, what I need to do is, I need to, as I said, uh, you initiate the movement, but again, I speed up a little bit, pulling my leg up like this, and then I drop. So again, we are here in full pass, hook behind the leg. So because remember that you have this under hook, so I cannot pass this way. And then it's just about walking backwards. Right. You have this controlled and this controlled. So You're that's not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Awesome. So the fold pass does work in no gi. Perfectly. Pressure passing is the concept that you force your opponent to give up his guard before you really pass. It's a different than what the guys and the modern guys are doing now, floating from one side to the other, which is amazing. But it's not for everybody, depending on your body type, your weight, your speed, your strength. The pressure passing works really well for everybody. There is a really important concept behind that is how to make your opponent give you the pass instead of you getting there. It's about 
quitting before. When you use the speed pass, most of the times actually, the guy turn and you get it back. It's very common, right? So with the pressure passing, you're gonna get the cross hand mount no matter what, right? So you're gonna really get the control because you're gonna stop and let the guy burn before you pass. That's create a completely bigger difference in the real fight.